Hi, how are you doing everyone? Please welcome back to learning English with TSK. For today's video, we are going to learn about the exceptional forms of the past simple tense. We have already learned about the normal forms of the past simple tense. Affirmative, negative and question. But now, we still study the three forms of the past simple but it is not the normal forms exceptional form are you ready please let's go together exceptional forms of the past simple tense we normally make the question or the negative of the past simple tense by using did as a helping verb okay but today, we don't use did anymore. We no longer use did in the exceptional form. So when you are talking about exceptional form, you don't need to understand. You need to remember. Learn it by heart. Understand? Now, let's go to the first example. You were happy. This is a sentence that used in the past. Were is the part of verb to be. Okay? Was is also the part of verb to be, but it is used in different subject. I, we, sorry, I, he, she, it, you use was. Okay? We, you, they, you use were as a part of verb to be. So in case you see one of the verb to be, was or were in a sentence, when you want to make it into negative or question, you don't need to use did as the helping verb. Understand? You, because what? Because it can make their own form of negative. It can make their own form of question. Was and were. Alright? No need did to use or helping the sentence which have verb to be inside. So once again, in case you have seen in a sentence consists of have, sorry, consists of words or were, when you want to make from the up affirmative sentence to the negative or to the question, you don't need to use did as a helping verb. Because words or were can make their own negative sentence, can make their own question sentence. So are you clear now? Now let's go. You were happy. So when you make it into the negative, you don't need to use did anymore as I have told you. So you say you were and then not happy. That's it. You were not happy. Okay? You cannot say you did not are uh, happy. No. It's wrong. So you have to remember the exceptional rules or exceptional forms of the past simple tense. Try to remember all the words on the board. Words or were, could, would or should. Right? Now, let's go to the question. Were you happy? Were you happy? You cannot use did you are Happy? You cannot say like that. But as the normal rule is the correct one. Okay? As the normal rule, as the normal form, it's the correct one. Alright? But it is not the normal rule. It is an exceptional case. Exceptional forms. Right? So, you cannot use did as the helping verb anymore. Because were is the part of verb to be in the sentence. So when you have seen the part of verb to be words or were in a sentence, when making into the negative or the question, you no need 
to use this as a helping verb anymore. Because have sorry because were or words can make their own forms. Negative and question. Understand? All right, let's go. I could swim. So could is one of the exceptional verb. Again, could is one of the exceptional verb. In a sentence, when you have seen the word could, okay, you don't need to use did as the helping verb anymore. When you want to make affirmative to the negative, just add not after could. This is the right form. Because the exceptional form says like that. You don't need to ask me the question why. No why. You have to follow the forms. Understand? All right, I hope you understand. Now let's go. I could swim. So could is one of the four verbs on the board as an exceptional verb, right? So when you have seen in a sentence with the verb could, one of them, when you make into question or negative, now let's go to negative first. When you want to make into negative, you only use not after could. This is the correct form of the negative. Past simple. Okay? So you have I could not swim. And when you want to make into question, this is affirmative. I could swim. When you want to make into question, you just move the verb could to put in the front and then don't forget the question mark. That's one. You have question, sentence, or past simple. All right? Please be sure we don't see did in this use. 99% 99% of the normal rules we use did as a helping verb to make the positive to the negative also to make the positive to the question. We use auxiliary verb did or as the helping verb did. But in case that you have seen the four verbs on the board, you don't need to use auxiliary verb did or helping verb did anymore. Understand? Because it can help their form into negative or question by itself. Understand? All right? Let's go to the next example. Sorry, let's go to the next uh, uh, example. She would go on. Let's go to the negative. She would not go on. So would is one of the four exceptional forms, exceptional verb. So would here use as the past simple of infinitive will again will use as the present present verb and then would is used as the past simple so it can it can make their own forms so in the sentence when you have seen the verb will inside the sentence you don't need to use did as auxiliary verb or helping verb to make negative or question sentence anymore. Just add not after would to make negative or just use the verb would in front of the subject to make the question. That sounds easy, isn't it? Now, let's go. She would go on, and then we go to the negative. She would not go on, or you say, she wouldn't. She wouldn't go on. Like this one, I could not swim. 
I couldn't swim. Okay, so you were not, you weren't happy. So that one, when we short it, when we use two verb, you know, together, it seems quicker than, understand, or faster than. For example, I say she would not, but when we short it, you can have she wouldn't. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Couldn't, I couldn't, right? I couldn't swim. Sometimes you have you have heard the pronunciation or the sounds without D and here. It's like couldn't, I couldn't swim. But ninety percent of the students they pronounce I couldn't swim or I could not swim. But to be honest with you, the pronunciation of the people in the world, it is not the same. More or less, it is not the same. Okay? For this case, do not, you know, like, focus too much about the pronunciation. But if you can, you should have the pronunciation in the correct way. I mean, just like a very good accent of that, if you can. But if you find it difficult for you to pronounce like a native speaker, please take it easy. Go by your own way. Understand? But before going by your own way, you have to try to pronounce it to the best of your ability. I hope you can do it. Now, let's go. Okay? She would go on. She wouldn't go on. Would she go on? Would she go on? The question, the negative, you did not see the word did anymore. All right? Because all the verbs on the board, like was or were, could, would, or should, they are all the exceptional verb of past simple ten. Okay? You form the past simple tense by using did, okay, in the normal way. But that one is not in the normal way. Exceptional way. Exceptional forms. This is the reason why I just want you to be clear. You have learned the normal forms of the past simple tense positive, negative, negative question. And also, you have just learned about exceptional form then. Okay? So, after learning both normal form and exceptional form, you don't worry about making any mistake anymore. You don't worry about making mistake anymore. But, don't worry about making mistake anyway. You can learn from your mistake. Today, you are wrong. But tomorrow, I don't think you are wrong anymore. Okay? Because you can learn from your mistake. You can develop yourself. You can make yourself progress. Okay? Going better and better. Because you are all smart. All of you are smart, I know, if you know the way of learning. Probably, you would know English much better than I do in the future. Okay? Thank you. Now, let's go to the next one. He should ask. And then we go to the negative. He should not ask. He shouldn't ask, right? When you go to the question, should he ask? Should he ask? So, should is one of the exceptional verb of the pa participle. Sorry, of the simple past, right? So, let's go to the last example. She was disappointed. And then go to the negative. She was not disappointed. Disappointed. She wasn't. 
she was not disappointed and then go to the question was she disappointed was she disappointed so these are all the exceptional forms of the past simple tense i hope all of you are clear about making the form of the past simple tense okay both normal forms and exceptional form according to my opinion i think you no longer confuse how to make the form of the past simple tense after learning the exceptional form with me and also after learning the normal form with me okay so now that's all from the lesson today but before ending i would like to say thank you for all of the people all of you who help subscribe my youtube channel and also facebook page in order to get more videos and it's my pleasure it's my great pleasure to answer to accept all your comments okay because i am an open minded teacher in case you don't understand any point of that please go back to the previous video and this video to compare after that you will know exactly about the forms of the positive the negative and then the question thank you see you for the next video we are going to learn about the uses of the past simple tense bye for now